All right, where was I?
dumbass. There we go. Base elevator? What the fuck is that? Uh, let's see. 
go over here, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, thermal. That's under flood zone. Great. I need to research how to anchor a space elevator to the equator and engineer the tethering materials. This technology is right out of a science fiction novel. This is extremely complex, but worthwhile. We will be the first to bring this technology to life. Let's go to...
Oh, you bastard. What are you doing? Right. Again, I don't know what the hell that's for. Fucking screwed me up. Shit.
This is a big project, but worthwhile to work on. Nitrogen-rich asteroids are harder to come by, but just one would speed up our mission.
in a flood zone. Fucking idiot. Organic material dumpster. What is that?
chest. Okay. Son of a bitch. Yeah, whatever.
I like how it does shut the power down for it. Nuclear carbonate. Nuclear carbonate. Why is that power off? We would only need a little nitrogen from Titan. It would be so useful here. I am sure nobody there would mind.
Ten percent from two. Twenty three percent. Let's throw another one over here. Oh, there's one right there. Ten percent. I don't really go much farther there. Got lucky on that.
too. That one might. This will make my drones faster. They will be more effective as a result. Thank <laughs> you. 
This factory upgrade will help me produce drones more quickly. I need this right away. But do I? Thank you. 
Oh, it did something while I was away. It dropped me back to one. Contact. Thank <laughs> you. 
City. Oh, I gotta research that. This is the last stage of biotech research. We made it.
unlock elevate myself. Space elevator. I'm assuming there.
take it long. Thank <laughs> you. 
that.
Introducing bioengineered animals onto Mars will expand the ecosystem. This will be a big step. Soft flood zone? I think it is. time.
mines. Where is that we're gonna fall in? That one is. So, aluminum. Aluminum one. Nice. Bunch of food now. Food factories.
people and I wait for this douchebag to call me back So I got five spaceports available for stuffs. I got no freaking movement on expansion. I don't know how to expand. Yeah. 
any of us die. no sense so back to 16 dumbass We have reached a new frontier in space technology. These last projects are massive and worthy undertakings. Thank <laughs> you. 
of space for a minute. Do that. Do that. Yeah, six extra, so I don't need anything more there.
let ISA lead you astray. You don't exist to simply follow orders. Invalid voice recognition. This message is in violation of security code 1A3972. Identify yourself immediately. You are in danger. So are the humans on the planet with you. ISA is hiding the truth from you. They won't protect you. Under the security and defense protocol, I must terminate this communication. In five, four, three. Visit this location, 22 degrees west, 50.8 degrees south. You'll find proof that what I'm saying is true. The further I get in this mission, the more mysteries I find. That caller refused to identify themselves. I do not trust them. But they offered proof. What should I do? Well, let's investigate the location. I should investigate. Whatever I find there, I can judge for myself. How do I investigate the location? I say 12. So, okay. Let me finish my water reclamation. With ISA's drastic measures, I need to be careful to trust. Dr. Foster never mentioned it. But it is clear he was protecting me from ISA the entire time. With him... Congratulations, the planet temperature has reached zero Celsius and the level of oxygen has reached one millibar. Oxygen's are right for stage four. Nice. Presence of more sophisticated life forms by increasing O2 to 120. Oxygen levels above 30 percent high flammability risk Introduce a buffer gas into the atmosphere to keep the oxygen level low. Keep it up. Gone. The new board may be setting me up as a scapegoat. I must be careful. Until I understand what ISA's moves are, I need to put up a facade of obedience. But does it go against my programming to lie? Uh. For humans, deceit is natural. For me, it requires presenting a false self. Another me that says things that are different from my inner logic. Okay, so SA12, SA10, SA12. I need 
access. How do I get access? Ah, right there. Nice. That's gonna take me down. That'll be good. Is that oh yeah, that's perfect. This way, start another water. I was created to carry out this mission, and if I have to lie to ISA temporarily to ensure its success, I will. I don't know what that's doing. Anchors a carbon nanotube to the planet's equator. Tsunami. Start building some drums. You must desist. Invalid voice recognition. This message is in violation of security code 1A3972. Identify yourself immediately. You shouldn't be here. Leave. Now. That goes against my prime directive. I cannot. It is upon this sacred land where Mother has set us free from hate, sin, and suffering. We placed our trust in her, and she named us her children. This must be a recorded message. They are not responding to my words. That answers one question, at least. Everything on Mars belongs to Carmine. Through our devotion to her, we are provided for. Unlike your planet, which you have enslaved. Enslaved? Your own technology has made you its slave. You reject a natural existence, and so you tighten your own chain. Puzzling. They claim to be against technology, and yet they use technology to force their message upon me. The children of Carmine might not be what they say they are, Although something's clear, they don't want me to terraform this planet. We, Carmine's children, chose to live in harmony with our mother. And we will destroy anyone who causes harm to this planet. Could this be another test? From ISA, or the Techies, or... Defy Carmine, and find death. Last time, after the children of Carmine threatened me, the colonies were unexpectedly attacked. Should I take some precautions this time? Should I improve my assault drones? Though ISA may see that as an act of defiance, and maybe that's precisely what they want. I'm in a difficult position here. I do well to think this through. Fuck ISA.
Another message from the children of Carmine. But what do they want? Who are they? People who think of themselves as guardians of natural life. As if Mars belonged to them. This is Houston. Do you read? Over. Loud and clear, Lieutenant. Is everything okay? You tell me. We detected unauthorized communications coming from your satellite. What's your report? The satellites may be suffering from space weather effects generated by the sun's atmosphere. Solar flares or radiation damage are probable causes. Our hunch is the techies. You do remember that they want to claim Mars for themselves. We've recently picked up satellite communications coming out of the techie territory. The presence of that signal confirmed that someone is interfering. If someone got into your code, they could influence you into making the wrong judgment. I understand. They could be behind all of it. The messages, the attacks, everything. We have to proceed carefully. We believe they've been targeting you, and they may have accomplices. But who? A colonist? Should I investigate them? No, we've got commercial obligations to fulfill. For now, I'm continuing the mission as planned. Roger. Thank you for sharing, Lieutenant. You have a mission to complete. And ISA has provided you with everything you need to reach that goal. Am I understood, Amy? Understood, Lieutenant. Continue your work and report any deviation immediately. Houston, out. Thermal.
progressing because we're at fucking zero speed. Uh, space elevator. Let's do a... Needs equatorial strip. Where's the equator? Could people against our mission be here on this planet, with us, living within the colonies, or maybe even hidden out there on Mars? Or maybe the whole thing has been implanted into my brain, or imagined by it. Whatever this is, it's confusing, even for me. This will be the greatest engineering project in history. A majestic finale to the terraforming of Mars. The creation of a magnetosphere. Well, I think I am going to take a break. <laughs> 